Hi, my name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. I'm going to show you how to take a side view sketch and turn it into a 3D sketch using some simple methods. First I put a grid on top of my sketch and this is what the final sketch is going to look like. Once I take that grid and I'm going to transfer it onto a 3D grid that I've started to draw here. I'm just using a pencil sketching along and uh, trying to draw that same drawing basically in 3D on this piece of paper. It's basically a plane in space um, that I've created and gridded off that matches the uh, original uh, grid that I started with. The grid subdivided into six horizontal uh, squares and uh, four vertical squares. Um, so the same grid that I started with in the beginning that you saw at the beginning of the video. And I'm just going through methodically um, drawing everything um, correctly um, in space. Now I'm not going to go over the details of exactly how to lay all this stuff out. You learn this stuff when you go to uh, art school. You pay a lot of money. I'm not covering that in this uh, video right now. I just sort of want to go through the through the basics to sort of show you how I sketch everything out. This is a little three-wheeled vehicle. Um, it's for a contest that I'm working on. And uh, since it's a contest, I can record it and uh, show it since it's not for an actual customer. Um, and most of that stuff I can never show because my customers uh, don't want me showing the latest uh, product design stuff that I'm working on. But since this is a contest, um, I'm not under any contractual obligations like that. So always make sure that, uh, you know, you get the consent from your, your customers before you post uh, sensitive product information on the web that sort of thing. So I'm just going going through putting in the basics, putting in the seat here. Now the uh, passenger, there's two passengers uh, on this vehicle. I'll tell you a little bit about the vehicle itself. Basically it has independent suspension in the rear. Um, it's meant to be a very lightweight uh, vehicle, something that's easy to get around uh, town with using uh, local materials sourced locally wherever you are in the world. Um, this concept here has a um, hubless wheel in the front with a basket. That's what I'm drawing right now. So it's really meant to be something that you can take to the market uh, or go and get supplies with, um, but be a zero emission uh, vehicle. So good to the environment. Um, there's a little fold down flap in the front where you could easily put a crate on or uh, strap some some materials that you purchase there are shopping bags um, as well. There will probably be uh, some variations on this design. So this sketch is not so much about the design of the vehicle. It's really not that great of a design. <clears throat> it's really about visualizing um, a sketch that I had done earlier. I just wanted to get a sense of what it was going to look like in 3D as because I had been sketching in side view. Um, and I just wanted to get a rough idea of what this thing was going to look like. I really don't think it's that pretty, but um, it's a good exercise to sort of show the steps to go through to take a side view and uh, visualize it um, and understand uh, the form that you drew in side view, what that actually looks like uh, roughly in uh, 3D. So, uh, you know, what sort of looks really sweet in side view may not necessarily look so awesome in 3D and it's good to sort of go through the, the steps and uh, see what it actually looks like and then take your design from there. Now I started first in pencil um, and then I went through in pen to darken everything up. Now I'm erasing out the original pencil lines um, just to clean up the sketch and I'm going through and I'm kind of darkening the outlines of the pen just to make the sketch kind of pop and uh, go back and reiterate, clean up the lines, um, sharpen things up and I'll start um, shading things in here shortly. Um, a little bit about myself, uh, I live in Detroit. I've been a designer for uh, many years, uh, over 20 years 
designed all kinds of products uh, from automotive to exhibit to consumer products um, and to do this as well as teach down at uh, Wayne State University so for those of you that uh, know me a little shout out to my students um, Now I'm just going using a pen. I'm not using any markers or anything like that. I'm just using a pen to add value, add some contrast, um, just to sort of show uh, what the form is doing. I'm going to add a, a simple ground plane shadow here shortly. You know, the, the light is coming from the right across the uh, product, and the shadow is going down. It's not exactly accurate. It's just a... Uh, means to an end so to speak uh, so the shadow doesn't necessarily line up with the uh, lighting and you'll see me do the shadow here I'm just putting in some guidelines to help me then I'll put in some simple shading in the bottom video is almost over I'm gonna be sh posting some more videos in the next couple weeks um, here I'm adding some notes so look for some videos about this contest and uh, vote for me in the contest. It's a local motors contest. And uh, of course, check out my uh, portfolio. You can go to botson.com and uh, check out more of our of my product stuff. And uh, look for more stuff soon. Thanks for watching.